hello guys Vini, it's your big sister in dentistry and i'm back with another vlog if you are new to my channel my name is Rushila mali aka the tooth fairy i give advice about dentistry lifestyle and beauty this week's video is a dental vlog holiday edition you guys this must be my last you guys i'm so proud of myself this was my last endo i had to capture the day i took some pictures some videos and yeah like 12 canals later i am so so proud of myself the sad reality is that i would have finished a long time ago but my patients kept ditching me and girl i was not gonna wait for them to realize that they need the endo completed the quotas wait for no man so i had to move on and see more patients which means i did more than 12 canals later i grabbed some lunch and went off to the library to have a study sesh this is the crazy thing people are counting down the days and child i'm not ready the days are decreasing and my quotas are increasing well, here i am in pete's clinic i did some restorations and i filled out my paperwork and afterwards i made my patient a special balloon and just students also know how to make animal balloons i mean come on i'm a clinician i'm a clown i'm everything in one so this is just like this is me just helping out someone who double booked but i need those coaches also so i did two restorations and i'm at 12 and i need a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 20 to be done with peace so yeah with my 20 something days i need to like work like a dog it's so crazy Londana literally was biting me during these feelings like for the cavity grip it was fine but after a while it got tired and child i'm tired so now i have to go to pros right now like right now and then start with one of my patients i'm seeing two patients so yeah so sweeties i'm at pros and i was dealing with my partial denture patient who's also my crown and bridge patient so i was doing her jaw registration as you can see here i'm melting down some pink wax to make a wax bite you know what pros is like the most chilled clinics it's like except for the exam denture which is like nerve-wracking because you're like you're all alone but other than that data and the pros like i feel like in the next Ten years, I can see myself becoming a prosthodontist. I don't know, guys. I don't know, but yeah, this is one of my most peaceful clinics. So, sweeties, what you are seeing here is that I made a squash bite. I rolled up some wax and I made it into a U shape so the patient can bite on it. And this is me trying to get it as perfect as possible for the patient. Like I mentioned, this is also my crown and bridge patient, which means I'm gonna be doing four anterior crowns for this patient and two dentures one chrome and one acrylic oh child not me almost burning down the dental faculty yeah 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 this is a dangerous lifestyle we love immediately not my cubicle smiling like burnt paper and me just pretending like everything's okay because my patient was sitting right there we know got a cubicle yam guys and for not talk about gay see move see move So here I am flaming the aluex and I'm trying to get it into the right shape so I can take the patient's bite. I'm dividing it into not even twos but you can say like a quarter or something. Just I don't need a lot just a little bit so I can place it on the lower record block and I'm putting flame over it just so that it can be nice and soft when the patient has to bite. and. Day, I placed it in the patient's mouth and I wasn't happy with my first squash bite so I decided to make a new one and yeah so I took a new piece of pink wax and I rolled it up to take my squash bite So 
so my next patient was a try-in i just had to put these in her mouth and they sat perfectly try-ins give a patient a feel of how the dentures are gonna sit in the mouth and this is just me doing my paperwork i'm filling in my green book It's officially 12.44 and I'm done with my paperwork. I usually sign out everything, slay, so two patients. So uh, yeah. So I grabbed some more lunch. And this is me in peds again, getting ready to see my patient. I love this hoodie. I wear this hoodie every day. I wear this hoodie everywhere. If you see me, I'll be probably wearing this hoodie. I don't know, I just like the graphic design behind it. And I am definitely gonna buy more hoodies like this. Like, they're just so much fun, man. So interesting to look at. But anyways, this is me just setting up and I'm just taking my sweet time. Love, I love setting up and having everything organized from the materials to the instruments before the patient comes. I do this because it makes me feel more organized. I don't like setting up while the patient is there. It's just, I don't know, it's not giving to me because I know if I were a patient, I would love my dentist to have everything sorted out before I get there. So I recently learned how to do a sword balloon and I was so proud of myself because wow, the only thing I knew was to make doggies. So now I know how to make dogs and so anyways this is price and this is me replacing my tissue conditioner i'm supposed to use a blade but the girl decided to use a wax knife don't judge me and during this clinic it was low shading so that's why it's very very dark in my cubicle so this was my immediate denture patient i was just removing the old tissue conditioner just to put on a new one a fresher one for the patient So again you guys you will remember that i used this material in one of my previous vlogs and you already know what it is i'm trying to get a thick consistency before i place it onto the denture by the way guys a lot of you have been sending me your results on instagram and tiktok most of you ask the same thing do i have a chance of getting in and guys, I wish you nothing but the best with that. I love answering your messages. And I really do hope that you guys get into dentistry. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be colleagues or own a practice together. So I'm just placing the material on the denture now. Might have put a little bit of too much this time but it's okay i'm putting the separator medium here which is going to prevent the actual fit from getting onto the smooth surface of the denture i was supposed to put this earlier before actually putting the material but yeah, queens make mistakes so yeah i'm only putting it later but it's fine because none of it actually got on the smooth surface of the denture so 
Last patient I saw was for a try-in. She is a 4-4 and I needed to do laryngalize occlusion on her. So guys, I couldn't film that 4-4 try-in in the clinic because I had an issue with my patient. So what had happened is I spoke to the lady earlier in the session, like before the session started, I was like, okay, Mugyal, I'm going to be seeing a patient before you. So can you please give me a few minutes? I will see you around about half 20 past two. And then Mugyal decides that she's going to make this comment. But um, last time she waited for me and she left at half past four, which is super impossible because number one, the shuttle leaves at half past four and Mina, I take a shuttle. So I'm out of the clinics at that time. Like I'm in the bus. Number two is that our sessions end at four o'clock and our supervisors want the paperwork before four o'clock. So around quarter to four, um, 10 to four, that's when you're supposed to be done with your patient and give the, the supervisor the paperwork to sign off all the lab subs and everything fine so fast forward i see the patient i work on him it's fine it's fine and then it ends up being like around quarter past quarter past two because the session starts at two so it's quarter past two and i'm done working on the patient the tissue conditioner fine so and then my supervisor comes in she obviously has to check like what i did for the day she also has to check bah, if the tissue conditioner is you know good so fine gay yeah, like my supervisor checks and then she gives me feedback and some education so we she's discussing this and reasons why we do tissue conditioners and like we also discuss if you're doing a reliner use the same material but you have to grind down two millimeters of the the surface so like the peripheral borders and the fitting surface so that the tissue conditioner can fit on properly on the denture and not be an extra layer like extra thickness to get what i mean but anyways fine so we're discussing that and how i should tackle it when i do the reliner for the patient and then not umugelings coming oh Kriza, guys hey it's 20 parts to oh Kriza stands outside my cubicle she's standing she's furious i'm looking at this lady with a side eye i'm like oh my goodness because i'm facing the the doorway of my cubicle there's like it's open so i don't close the door so i'm still like my supervisor is in front of me she's giving me all this information and i'm like yes 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 doctor yes doctor but in the corner of my eye i see ukriza and ukriza is like looking at me she's ready to give me a piece so fine the supervisor is done and then she exits as she exits she sees ukriza standing at the at the door and she's like oh hi what's going on how yeah, ukriza starts shouting i've been here i've been waiting for her she doesn't know how to organize her time she's always running up and down i don't know what she's doing but like honestly like she went on and on and on and on and guys and my supervisor was a star like she was trying to calm down the patient because Mina, I was just standing there like this. Like, because this lady, you don't understand. Ukriza always gives me a problem when I have to see two patients. Like, I must only see her in my clinical sessions, which is like impossible, especially at this time where it's like crunch time. We're trying to get all our courses done. And besides that, like most final year, fourth year students are seeing two patients in one procession, like, if not three, like we're at that level now, you know what I mean? Like we're just trying to get much as much work done as possible so that everyone is happy, they get their dentures in time, I get my quotas in time, like everything is just on time. <gasps> oh crazy guys, she went on and on. And what's annoying about the situation is that Ukriza, the first time I saw her, she also was annoyed by this like that I'm seeing two patients in one session. And what's funny is that, what's funny is that I tell most of my patients that I'm gonna be seeing two patients now. And none of them have ever, ever given me an issue. Yeah, now she chose to fight. So fine, I get Ukriza. She decides to make a scene. Everyone is like, 
everyone can hear at this point like you know like it's just her voice in the clinic like people can hear her she's going off and off and off and off and like how i'm not organized blah 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 i should have told her that i'm seeing more than one patient so anyways yeah like that was the drama and i just didn't feel like filming in that session because of what she put me through so i just wanted to finish everything but like i just decided to be quiet the whole clinical session because i i made it clear from day one her visits that i will be seeing more than one patient and if she has an issue with this then she has to she has to find another dental student to work on her because it's not gonna work yeah well but i said it in a polite way not a rude way you know what i mean because you have to be profish at the end of the day so i kept it profish i kept it cute she seemed like she understood but she, clearly so like be londo that was a wrap and i just decided i'm gonna be quiet for the whole session because i had nothing to say to her at that point she embarrassed me in front of my patient my supervisor and my other my colleagues like it was just it was just like here we go again like you know it was just one of those moments where i just froze and i, I had nothing to say so i did my work i did my work and then she apologized during the session because she can see now that the girl's not communicating anymore like we're not and i'm a very very friendly professional dental student i'm not just saying that like it is the truth i'm i'm very professional yes maybe i will run like over the session or just a few minutes late in the clinic but like generally i work really well so that was that was that i just kept quiet i decided to keep quiet and then she got the vibes but something is off and then she apologized and she was like she's sorry that she yelled at me earlier she was just very frustrated and you know at that point because i've been dealing with this patient like it's, it wasn't just that one incident she's been doing this recurrently recurrently so i reached the point where i was like over her and over the situation she apologized and was like oh okay ma'am i understand actually i didn't say that i just said okay because i was being pity but anyways i set up her next appointment and then when it was time for her next appointment i told her that i'll be seeing another patient and child did that not backfire she she was upset that i'm seeing another patient she like she was just exploding on me again so i feel like her apology was like it meant nothing because she just continued what she did in the clinic over the phone so i was like you know what this is not worth it then i told her politely but i can't work with her anymore that's a wrap my sister there's no future so that was it i told her i sent my paragraph that i couldn't work with her again i will see to it that she gets another dental student i thanked her for coming to the clinics and then dump block because what else am i supposed to do block on a facebook block, block on a whatsapp block on instagram block 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 because she was at that point you know you have to get to a point where you feel like your peace you need to protect your peace at some point and i just felt like she was stressing me out she didn't want to work with me there was nothing i could do with her i mean i tried so hard to accommodate this lady because we've been working together for weeks and it just it wasn't working i'm i'm just not fit for her she deserves better whatever better is for her and now i deserve peace so she's gonna be handled by a lovely student they're gonna get their quota and I will just will have my peace knowing that I did my best. And I tried to accommodate her guys so much. There was a point where she told me, but she doesn't have transport money. Can can I organize her clinical sessions in like a different time? I did that. So I just, I just, I just felt like, you know what? This is it. I'm blocking you. And that's it, Grisa. So like, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's what happened to that patient. 
and then i went to go get me some snacks a donut and popcorn this donut was so good you guys and that's a wrap you guys thank you so much for watching until the end and i'll see you on my next one bye